Hey everyone, so a bit of a change of scenery today, but um, I've come to you today to show you the Sabelle Cup. So before I start this video, I'd just like to say thank you to the Sabelle Cup company for agreeing to send me a sample of their cup. Um, they actually sent me the limited edition, which is their pink cup, um, which I believe is a little bit more expensive, so I was really chuffed at that. Um, and here it is. So this is the box. Okay, I have actually tried this cup out, but um, I put it all back in the box how it was, so you guys can see it. Um, it's a little bit crushed this box, but as I said, because they are sending me a free sample, they tend to, um, you know, put, get, use their bad boxes for that, such things. So that, and then this is the instruction. It comes in some different languages. I'm not even going to attempt to say them this time because I seem to always get them wrong. But that one, and that one, yeah, okay, so it's those. And, oh, I thought we should show them, so that will fly. Uh, yeah, we've got the English one anyway. So they have really good diagrams. Okay, so those are the instruction leaflets. They just basically tell you what to do um, with your cup so you're not going to be on your own with cups like that. And then this is the cup itself. Now it comes in this really cool latex bag, I think. It's exactly the same material that those swimming hats are made out of, you know, the stretchy ones. Um, really cool and shiny stuff. It's very different. I seen, haven't seen a pouch like that before, so thumbs up for originality to them. So here is the Sabelle cup. See, it's a bright kind of fuchsia pink. Or magenta. I don't actually even know the colours of that. It's a bright pink, basically. Okay. Um, I've cut the stem off, but I kept the little bit of the stem to show you because it's quite a long stem. I'm not going to be able to get it out now, am I? Here we go. Right. So you can see it is a pretty long stem. You're not going to have any worries about grabbing it. Um, and they do tell you you're going to need to trim it, probably. Um, so yeah, it has four suction release holes at the top here. One there. Oh, they're quite close together. One there, one there, and then right around this side of the cup, one there, one there. Okay. The top of the cup slopes outwards, which I really like. It looks really pretty. And it's a bellish shaped cup, but it's also quite straight, so it works perfectly for my body shape because that is exactly the shape I need. Um, most of the cups that are this sort of shape work really well for me, and I have tried it out on a dry run. I had no issues with this cup, which is really something. Um, and I should just say before I go any further, I am not sponsored by any of these cup brands, or any of the brands at all. Um, I just basically ask, contact them and ask them if they would be happy for me to re do a review on their cup, and would they be um, willing to send me a sample, and the Spell Cup were, and other cup brands were. But I'm not going to talk about them because this is their video. Uh, so the cup itself has these kind of ridges going down. There's four of them actually, and it doesn't have any grips on the bottom, but these ridges help you to actually grab the cup I found, so that works well. So when I insert it, I use my fold I always use, which is the seven fold, like this. Bit of lubricant. I insert it like that. Now with all of my cups, what I do is I put it inside, and I actually just pull it down a little bit, and then push it back up, and it usually opens up really easily after I've done that. And it was the same with this, even though it's a soft cup. I am fast discovering that softer cups are by far the best for me. I usually get quite a lot of cramping around my period, um, so I find it kind of uncomfortable to put a really strong suction cup inside, so this was really good. Um, yeah, if you have any questions on the Sabelle cup, then please feel free to ask. I believe this is the, this is the small, and I believe it holds 20 mils of fluid. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the diameter is across here, but I would imagine it's about 40 or 41 millimetres. Um, it's not overly thick. Okay, so that's the Sabelle Cup. As I said before, have any questions, comment below, ask me a question through a message, through YouTube. Just put in Precious Star Pads. Uh, or you can contact me through the Green Clean Cycle website, which has an email address there. Um, yeah, if the Sabelle Cup can be purchased from feminineware.co.uk or even the uh Sabelle's own sea lion's own site. So yeah, um
I strongly recommend if you are a teenager and you have a reasonable flow and you like softer cups or you have bad cramping and you don't feel like putting a really firm cup in there that you try the Sabelle cup out um, if that's the case or in fact even if you um, are a teenager if you're just someone who likes softer cups then this would definitely be a good one for you okay thanks guys for watching please subscribe and I will talk to you later bye bye